Hello, my name is Jeanette and welcome to my channel. Usually I take you guys shopping with me for Amazon retail arbitrage. And this week I did something way different. I did not go sourcing any retail store at all this week. So one of my goals this month was to do OA, which is online arbitrage. Typically I do RA, which is retail arbitrage, which is when I actually physically go to the store. I've been wanting to do online arbitrage and I had tried a few times and just never really found anything. Looking back, the answers were right in front of my face, right there. Honestly, I don't know why it was such a struggle for me because now it's so easy and shopping online has been a huge game changer. I've only been doing it for five days and it's already been so incredible. I did a poll on Instagram just because I was curious. Do you do any online arbitrage? 78% said they do online arbitrage. 22% said they have not yet. Well, I'm here to tell the 22% that have not tried it yet to try it. It, it will change change everything for you. I shopped on Monday, Tuesday, I shopped on Thursday, and I shopped on Friday. Some of the things were delivered directly to my doorstep. Some of the things I went to Walmart and picked up because they were having their Black Friday deals. Okay, I just realized I lied. I did go retail arbitrage sourcing once, and I was only there for an hour. Last week, I also got my tax exemption card from Walmart. If you don't know what that is, I want to tell you about that real quick. If you're a reseller and you have a reseller license, then you can go to Walmart, fill out a really quick application. You can mark that you're a reseller and they'll give you this little card. It looks like this, it's paper, nothing fancy. But with this card, you present it to the cashier and you don't have to pay taxes on things that you're reselling. There's also a link on walmart.com where you can fill out an application. This you'll have to do separately. You'll need to do it separately for the Walmart you shop at. And then you're gonna wanna go online and fill out their application online. I'll put that link below. You put your information in and then your Walmart account, they will not charge you taxes on the things that you're reselling. So that was another huge goal that I got accomplished last week was just getting my reselling tax exemption figured out on walmart.com and in store. You're definitely gonna wanna take advantage of that. I get a leads list every month from Nikki Kirk's Bolo group and I would get the pages and pages of Walmart leads and I would go to the Walmart and go up and down all the aisles trying to find these things like I did last week and not find them or the prices would be different. Now I take the leads list and I hop on walmart.com and you can search for things just like you would in store. Here I am at walmart.com. You're gonna do it just like you would if you were shopping in store. I'm just gonna click on this holiday gift finder and let's just open up the first toy we see. I'm gonna open up my seller app and go to the scan and I'm just going to scan it like I would in the store, click on it, and here you can see that this is selling for $129 online. Amazon is also selling it for $129 and it's $129 in the store, so this one obviously wouldn't be a, a money maker, but this is how I've been doing it, and it works great. I found a ton of stuff, and right now um, Walmart is doing their Black Friday deals, so you can shop those online pretty easily. Now be aware that Walmart might have maximums that you can buy and sometimes you can only buy one of the item. So what I've been doing is just placing multiple orders. Another thing you can check out is the weekly ad at the bottom of the website and that'll give you the upcoming ads. This one was for this week, this one's for next week and so on. So that's very helpful to know what's going to be coming on sale in the future so you can kind of plan and prep and do your research. So I was just using Walmart as an example. That's how you could do online arbitrage for any website. Just use your phone and scan things and check out their weekly ads. I still plan on doing retail arbitrage for sure, but I will say that online arbitrage is really helpful if you have plans on the weekend like I did. So during the week I just online shopped. I didn't even need to go out this week. Another helpful tip that someone shared with me was 
they said if you call UPS, they will charge you, but they will come get your stuff for you. You don't have to load it up in your vehicle, drive it to UPS, drag it all in. So I might be giving them a call today and seeing if they can come pick up my stuff on Monday and we can try that out for the first time because that would be awesome. So while I was recording, more stuff showed up. Okay, I'm gonna get started on this pile. Have you guys used Inventory Lab? I heard it's great for packing up your orders because honestly, that's my least favorite part. If I could find a way to streamline that or make it faster and less awful, that would be great. I'm thinking about signing up for that trial today because I'm gonna keep scaling and I need tools to help me. Let me know your thoughts on Inventory Lab. Sorry I'm all over the place today. It's just because I'm all over the place today. Okay, here we are. I am all boxed up. I wound up with 11 boxes. I did schedule a pickup online for UPS to come get this stuff, but guess what? It's still here because they never showed up. <laughs> so I'm gonna be calling them today. I would really love to get this stuff out of here ASAP. Let's talk about profit. This stuff should sell for about $2,074.03. It cost me $1,260.10 for a profit of $813.93. You guys, over $800 for just shopping online. Uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Although I will say I am itching to get back into a store. I, I still love retail arbitrage so much, but I feel like this will really help supplement my sourcing trip. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Joan, Marjorie, Carlos, Nicole, Bob, Rita, just to name a few of the people I was chit-chatting with on my channel while I was packing up my stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!